Well, um, we've seen you obviously mature a lot. You had some huge wins, conference tournament and all last year. So what's what's the next step? What are you working on this year to go even further this year? You know, I'm really just working on trusting my team. I feel like our defense has come a long way. So we're just really riding with each other. Um, and then personally, I'm just working on going at the hitters a little bit more so that I can just let my defense work behind me. You guys have... 13 of the total 21 on the roster returning from last year's team that, that won in the regional. Just, you know, how much has that chemistry allowed you guys to come closer together, to blend together and know like how good this team can really be this season? Yeah, our team is really good. I feel like we have a really close knit group. Um, I feel like our, our team chemistry is, is really strong and we're going to, I feel like it's going to show on the field and just show that we're, we're going to work together and then we're going to have each other's back and the trust is there. What did y'all learn from the super regional trip that maybe if y'all get back to that level that y'all can go take a step further? Yeah, I feel like Super Regionals really, really expose a lot of our weaknesses. Uh, so I think just learning from that, learning to to jump ahead on the pitchers um, and then defensively just go at them and um, just just be there and have each other's backs. Like I said, and uh, we're just we're growing from what we learned last year in Supers. You talked about the weaknesses. What are some of the strengths from that time that you're wanting to carry over into this year? I feel like our team was really strong last year, so we're definitely trying to carry that over. And um, the confidence, we did have confidence going into Supers. And I feel like uh, being the first team under Coach Glasgow to make it to Supers, we can still walk away from that experience with confidence. So we're bringing confidence to this year and just, just playing, showing what we got. With you being, I guess, the most experienced for sure in the circle, how have you kind of embraced the leadership role as you know potentially being the ace for the circle? <laughs> Yeah, I'm just I, I'm kind of making sure our pitching staff is a very close knit group. Uh, we're all working together. I feel like our, our pitching staff is really good this year. Um, and I'm kind of just trying to let them know everything I've learned over my past two years of being here and how how Justin likes to work and how we can work with him and just embracing that and embracing especially the UL fans that come to our games and using that as momentum while being in the circle. You have some transfers from one from an SEC school, you know, like what have they brought and how is that process going from learning from each other? And I'm sure there are different experiences they've had. Y'all can all help. Like, how is that going? Yeah, we have we have quite a few transfers. They're all great. They're all great additions to the team. Um, and I feel like when it comes down to it, we all have the same the same love and it's for the game. So I think everybody's bringing new perspectives to the game and just uh, combining that. Like like I was saying, like Coach Justin brings a baseball perspective to our game. So that was something new we all learned. And I think girls coming from the SEC, they, they bring a new perspective of how games are played and the, the competition. So just bringing that in, we're all learning something new and bringing a new fire to the team. Talk a little bit about the fans. I know that's one of the, the, the pride, part of the pride of this program is the uh, the way the relationship between the fans and this team. What is that like for you guys? And, and why is it such a, uh, a strong bond? Yeah, I've said it before, but you can make a less challenging game become a very interesting game, especially with our fans. And, you know, they, they say a lot out here, you can't spell culture without UL. And I think a lot of that comes from our fans. So it's great having them. We could we could be playing a top rated team or somebody lower, and we're still going to have the same amount of fans out there. They're going to be cheering and they're going to travel to all of our games with us. So I definitely think they push us to be better and uh, they're constantly showing their support. So in the preseason polls, you guys ranked 21, I think at 23. Uh, as a player, I'm sure you probably don't really care about that, but uh, it does mark, I mean, this program's always at the top of uh, college softball. What does that mean to you guys? And it is, does that put a chip on your shoulder? Because I, I, I maybe think y'all are a little better than 21, but does it, do you put a, does it put that little chip on your shoulder? Uh, so, you know, I personally, I personally don't try to pay attention to, or I try not to pay attention to rankings just because a lot of rankings come from, um, perspective and opinion, I'll say. So I do think we have a strong team. We do belong in the top 25 where that is, is debatable up to a lot of people. Um, but we do have a strong team and I think we're going to definitely prove ourselves with the rankings and where we should be. You mentioned about building trust, building chemistry. What are some of the things like as a leader that you can do or are doing to kind of strengthen that bond with the teammates? 
Uh, so this year we've actually done a few more than we've normally done a like team bonding thing. So I feel like that's really fun. We recently started a like Bible study group, which I think is awesome because it's bringing God into our play and it's strengthening the group as giving our relationship to him. So I think that's awesome. And just, just making sure that we have that strong bond because that's going to get you wins. You know, if you, you can have a team of great athletes, but if you can't play together, you're not going to win. So I think our, our team chemistry is really good and just strengthening that by empowering the, the love that we have for each other. Sam, with the alteration of the pitching rule where your back foot, whatever, can actually leave the ground now, is that something that even comes into your mind? I don't recall you ever getting, you know, a great number of illegal pitch calls. Yeah. So when I first got here, I actually, um, actually crow hopped really bad. So we worked on that um, a lot. So now that I am allowed to do it, but I have performed without doing it, it's not something that crosses my mind on whether I should or I shouldn't. If it happens, it happens. I'm not going to get called for it. Um, but I, I don't know. The rules are always changing around here. So. Were you surprised by that, you know, actually coming back into being part of the game? Um, I, I wasn't surprised cause it's been a talk for many years. So I wasn't surprised by that. Um, I don't think there's much that has shown a regular jump without a, a replant can elevate anything much or give you much of an advantage. So, um, I'm interested to see how that's going to play out this year and see if it really does give an advantage to people. So what you mentioned, Justin, now that y'all probably know, you know, each other very well, if you had to help with his approach with the other pitchers that are new and how much further along are you and him just in the way y'all communicate and, you know, to make you a better pitcher? Yeah, me and Coach Justin are really close. Um, you know, he came to my baptism last fall, so that was really awesome. So we're we're definitely we we knocked down those language barriers. Um, but he, I'm definitely kind of a, I guess, translator for some of the girls. If he says something, it's kind of like, hey, like I know you're thinking it's this, but really he's just saying this. You know what I mean? So, like I said, he brings a baseball perspective, but most of it is actually very very useful or what you've heard. He just says it in a new way. That's actually a little bit more applicable. So, uh, we love having him. I, as far as I know, everybody, all the, um, transfers love him on the pitching staff. So we're, we're really interested to see how that's going to work and how their, their play is going to change from where they were at. Obviously too, you guys make it to a super regional you don't get all the way to the Women's College World Series, which is ultimately where you want to go. How are you guys embracing having those lofty expectations, especially now that you've seen like how far you can go and how much further you want to go? Yeah, we're definitely embracing it because we know we should have gone farther than Supers last year. So uh, embracing that, learning from learning from everything we did last year and just really tackling onto that. Uh, recently, they've been saying get 1% better every day. So I feel like that's a strive for the whole team. Just get better and we're not going to we're not going to end where we ended last year.